Hi everybody. So today I am going to be doing a, a pretty highly requested video. I'm going to show my current leather collection. So these are uh, covers, uh, folios, or traveler's notebooks, what have you, and like a pencil pouch. So if it's made of leather, I'm going to show it here. Um, if this so in the past, uh, I had to split up this video into two separate videos because I had that much. So uh, I have trimmed down considerably. And, um, you know, just like anybody, I went through an evolution and really discovered what I truly liked. I kind of, well, I did get out of this... Uh, collection mindset of needing to have everything that a maker has ever offered and I've just found a really good happy place and I kind of have a new system of how I determine if I want to get another cover so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to work from biggest to smallest in size and show you what I have I I still have a large collection, I think, by normal standards, but it's definitely smaller for me. And I've definitely slowed way down in my purchasing, um, which which I'm totally, totally enjoying. So first thing is A5. Uh, I used to have a composition, but I sold that. And FYI, I, um, I'm really not selling anymore. <laughs> So if you see something that you're interested in, like, I'm, I'm just not going to sell it. I, I hate doing it. And I don't like my address going out there. If you know, uh, if you're familiar with my tendencies, I'm just tend to be really super private. And I just didn't like doing that. So not selling has really helped curtail my spending as well, because I know that I'm either going to have to give it away or uh, find someone locally to sell it to, which is like super rare. Um, but I'm usually like giving away to friends or family and it gets me out of that crutch of buying things and telling myself, well, if I don't like it, I can always sell it. And that became a really huge crutch for me. And I'm not, I'm just not doing that anymore. And I don't feel the need to. Um, so anyway, m this is my only A5. It's the biggest size that I have. This is from Hand Stitched Leather Tee on Etsy. I'm not going to go into like super detail about like everything about each cover uh, just for the sake of time. And more than likely, I have separate detailed videos about all of the covers. If I do, I'm going to link them below if you want more detail. So this is just a folio. It's in the tobacco leather. And this was actually a gift because I had purchased some other hand stitched leather tees and I did a video about it. And so Tanya sent me this as a thank you for, for doing that. So I love this. It's really special to me. I'm hardly in A5, um, which is why I only have one. And this one is quite special to me. So I will always have this. Uh, next up is this. This isn't like any particular size. <laughs> this is a folio from Maker South in the Dublin leather. And I had this specially custom made to fit a soft cover moleskin expanded. I was in that journal for four months and this was the perfect fit for that. Um, I do wish the pocket was a little bit taller. I, I'm one of those that loves a tall pocket. So, um, in the future, when I've ordered from Maker South, I have made sure to request a bit of a taller pocket. Um, but this, this was really, really awesome. And, um, I'm never going to get rid of this either. Um, cause I just bonded with it so much, but this is the only moleskin expanded cover that I have. Next up is my only wide. So this is a Lacau. Um, this was actually given to me by Lacau in exchange for a review. And I've been using it ever since. So it is so <laughs> like jacked up. Um, it's not very well organized at all. This is what I use for um, finances. So 
every month when I pay the bills, all the stuff is in here. I have my checkbook, my stamps and envelopes and all kinds of things in here. Um, this is the brownie leather and this is a vintage tan front pocket and it's got the, the button closure, which is super cute. Um, although, uh, I just wanted to try this out because I was experiencing Lacau for the first time and this is a very signature thing for his shop. So I wanted to try this out, but I am not a fan of a button closure, mostly because I use multiple notebooks, uh, multiple covers at the same time and then I tend to bring them with me, especially when I like go camping or something. And I keep them all stacked up in a bag and this just pokes out, it gets in the way. If I have another cover next to it, it's going to indent the other cover. And uh, when you stack, which I do, it's just kind of wonky and wobbly and things don't stack as nicely when you have this type of closure. So just something to, to keep in mind. Um, but this is kind of a no-go for me, even though it does look super lovely and I think it is really innovative. This is the only wide cover that I have. Uh, so next up are all of my uh, standard traveler's notebook size covers. Um, this has been and will always be a staple size for me. Uh, it's just my first love when it came to Traveler's Notebook and leathers. And I just, even though I, I'm i not in this as often as I was in the beginning, I still find myself having the most of this size. And every now and then I do end up back in this size. It's almost like a reset for me. So it's kind of just a comforting thing. So... Let's split them up. So this is currently in use. Um, this is what I'm using for my planner. So I just have this really super grimy uh, monthly insert and this is a blank insert. And this is just uh, gross and it's just folio style. And this is from Meadowgate Leather on Etsy. And this is like the dark forest or deep forest leather. and it scratches up so beautifully like it has so many scratches but it doesn't look like it was beat to the ends of the earth you know um, I just think this particular leather takes a beating really well so uh, I'm currently using this so this is in my purse so it's um, seen a lot uh, the next thing is my classic traveler's notebook from traveler's company this is just in the brown this is what i use um for youtube and i just kind of write down ideas and um like when i post videos like this is just a monthly insert here um you know i haven't opened this thing in like two months i just can't seem to care anymore but it's here it's sitting around ever since i got it it's held uh, YouTube inserts. Um, so that's that. This is from Maker South. It is an oil tanned leather. It's the sunset oil tan. And I have a Midori MD notebook in here that I had cut down to uh, standard size. And so I don't use this very often at all. It's like a venting notebook or a burn book. If I have just something heavy on my mind that I really just don't think needs to be in my journal and recorded forever for posterity I will just write it in here just to get it out of me um so this will probably most likely be burned <laughs> uh and nothing pretty in there it's just straight writing so I just keep this around in those instances that I really do need something like that and these two are my uh what is it the Lady Falcon Travelers. So these are like really special. Um, I I'm not familiar with the shop anymore. I'm, I'm not sure if she does these like fandom sales anymore, but I have my Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's a map of Middle Earth and I really love it. And I cannot tell you how many times I've used these. It's probably like zero. Um, 
but I cannot get rid of these. So this is, um, I rolled this, obviously it's Harry Potter, the Marauders map. And I mean, I just, I just had to, they all have the, uh, notebook. It comes for free and you can get it, um, inscribed for free. So this one just has my name on it. So does, so does this one. Uh, and these bookmarks are removable. They're just kind of tied and threaded up at the top there, but they have four strings. And I mean, that's that. And I, I play with them every now and then, but I haven't actually used them. I've taken the, uh, the closure elastics out of both of them because they're so super thick and springy. They're really super stretchy and very gentle. And I've taken them out and used them in other notebooks that have had really tough elastic. Uh, so, so these are those and they're just kind of, kind of the only collector item that I have, something that I have just to have it and I'm not really using it but I don't, I don't feel like complete without these. Like I, I love to see these on my shelf. So this is a hand stitched leather tee. It's just a folio. It's in the, um, light tobacco color. And, um, this was the first hand stitch that I ever received. Um, and I just, I think everybody should have at least one of these um, because I have never found a leather that's comparable to this. There's something so literally soft and velvety about it. And also this leather is really tough. It, it doesn't ding up and scratch easily at all. So um, if that's something you're looking for, this has a really um, tough, tough quality about it um the last oh no not the last oh uh so this is frank this is just an amazon standard size traveler's notebook i bought and then i bought some leather remnant scraps and i have a video all about that and i just sewed it on the front here and uh it's just plain on the inside no pockets or anything this is a a junk journal that Robin at Talks From The Heart made for me. So I kind of have this set up to use next whenever I want to get back into this size again. And then the last thing I have is this Sojourner. So it's in the Mitzvah leather. It's just a folio. And, um, you know, this isn't available anymore. And every now and then I do come back into here. So that's it for all of the standard size covers that I have. I... I don't think I'm going to get rid of, of any of these. I've had all of these for so, so long and they just feel like an integral part of my collection. And I haven't really bought um, like any more of this size lately. So I think I'm coming up on that feeling of, uh, feeling like this is complete, that I have kind of everything I could want in this size. Uh, so that's it for that. Uh, the next thing, I have one B6 Plus. So this is a Sojourner. It's the sand leather and a special brown front pocket. Um, and I requested no clamp marks on my pocket. And I'm... I'm really glad they selected the lighter special brown because I love how it's not such a stark contrast to this uh, new buck, really velvety sand leather. I have not used this yet. It has the natural inside pockets, but B6 Plus is actually the same width as B6. It's just slightly taller and it fits the Leuch term B6 plus notebooks. And I have two of those. So I got this to uh, use for those. So this brings me to a topic that I'm not really going to harp on, but uh, it's like you have so many leather covers that you can't possibly use them all at the same time or use your new ones immediately. So I bought this and was I going to use those Lush Term notebooks immediately when I got this? No, because I, I'm i in a journal and I'm only halfway through it and it's going to take me, uh, who knows, like another couple of months to finish. So I did not need this right away, but I really just wanted to feel the leather and to see it. So what happened is 
I received this, I played with it for a minute, and then I set it on the shelf waiting for its turn. And this does not happen hardly anymore for me, but in the past, when I had a really big collector type of attitude for all of this stuff, I was doing that so frequently where I would get a new piece, um, you know, like play with it and then set it aside. And it wouldn't get used sometimes for months, if at all. So that was one of the things that led me to start cleaning house and to really determine the things that I truly loved. And because I had so much experience over so much time with lots of different leathers and lots of different companies, I felt like I knew what I really truly loved. The types of leathers I loved, the colors, the designs, and I just really had a handle on what I was looking for. So it disappointed me that I made this purchase. Not, It doesn't have anything to do with the company or this particular cover, just that, um, that that happened, that I received it and didn't need it. I didn't need to use it right away and that it's sitting aside waiting for a turn. And I could have put off this purchase and maybe not even purchased it at all and I could have saved that money. So that is just something that I've really become aware of in the last, like over this year, over 2019. And I do not want this to happen anymore. So it's a learning process and it's just something that's become more of a priority to me since I don't have a kind of a collector's attitude anymore where I need everything. Um, so yeah, so just a, a lesson to be learned for me. Um, so this is the only B6 Plus I have, probably the only one I'm ever I'm ever going to own unless, um, you know, I pass this on to a friend or someone to try to, you know, get them over to the dark side. So this is the only B6 that I have. Um, I really love this. This is from Speckled Fawns. It's, oh gosh, it's the praline leather. It was, it was a ready to ship item. I love how tall the pocket is on this and it's just a folio. And I usually, when I keep these on my desk, I usually kind of just pull the leather, uh, the closure through to the inside and tuck it in a pocket um, because I don't like the pressure it puts on the leather if I'm not using it. So the thing about speckled fawns is that they cut a really wide size in like every size. So some companies are like that. Chic Sparrow is also like that. So the covers tend to be made to be stuffed. You can really, really stuff these. And so for all the sizes that I use, I like to have an option of a really wide cut uh, cover like this. And then I also like to have an option of a slimmer cut that doesn't require as many inserts to fill it out. So this is why I'll have, um, you know, a couple or a few covers in each size because they're cut differently. And I like to have a traveler's notebook option and then also a folio type of option. Um, so I don't have that in every single size because I'm being very, very critical and very picky about what I choose. So this is an option if I want it for um, B6, if I really want to stuff it. And uh, this is just such a unique piece. I love everything about it. I love the texture on this. I don't have any B6s other than this right now. So I'm probably not going to add to this size category, but in the off chance that I am in, in, a, in a B6, I know that I love this cover and that I'd want to use it. So this is definitely sticking around and this definitely made the cut out of all of my B6s. And I'm a super fan of a front pocket. Like I gotta have it if I can. 
And so I really ended up getting rid of a lot of covers that I have that do not have a front pocket. So that's another reason why this is just, uh, it's become just a really special piece in my collection. So next up are my B6 Slims. So I have two. And this is a Speckled Fawns. It's like the vintage train case. And this is a Lacau. And this is the flame leather and then mm, a dark night, a dark night front pocket. And none of these leathers are available anymore. So apologies. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the different cuts of different companies. So Speckled Fawns is super, super wide. I mean, this could hold a couple of actual B6 inserts, even though this is technically B6 slim. This is super slim cut. There is a Nanami Cafe note in here. This is my current journal. This is what I'm currently using. So this fits this Nanami and that is it. And it almost barely doesn't fit this. I have the front and the, the back covers in the pockets, in the folio pockets. Uh, this slides super nice. Usually I don't have the front cover of the notebook in a pocket because it won't open and close really nicely. Uh, in this case it does. And usually if I'm using it like a folio, I do not like to have traveler's notebook strings. However, because I can put the front cover in this pocket, it covers up the strings. So when I open it, I just don't see a bunch of unused strings and that tends to get on my nerves. So I'm really happy with the fit of this. Uh, this was a trade uh, when Robin from Talks From The Hearts visited me. Uh, this was hers and so I gave her a Sojourner and we had a little leather trade and it was super fun. Um, but I'm really loving this, really enjoying it. And obviously this cover is so gorgeous. Like it's so um, textured and just really unique. And that's what really drew me in about this. So if I ever need to stuff for B6 Slim, then I have this as an option. And I did have this in here for a while and I, I just wanted something a lot slimmer and more compact because I felt like I was filling this up with unnecessary things just because there was space to fill. So I really wanted to slim down. And so luckily now I have this. And so however I'm feeling, I have an option for each and I am totally in love with both of these covers. So I feel really content with what I have for B6 Slim. Next up are my week's covers. So I've shown these a lot, well, these two in particular. These are housing uh, Hobonichi weeks that I use to journal to my kids. I feel like I talk incessantly about that. So here's another thing that has changed. Um, okay, so hold on. Both of these are from Maker South. Um, this is the Wheat Harvest Leather, and this is the, I always butcher this, but it's a horse front. It's the uh, vintage tan horse front. I feel like there's English in there somewhere, like English vintage tan horse front or some, something like that. It's out of stock anyway. Of course it is. Uh, but anyway, um, these are just straight folio. I tend to like my folios really, really simple. I don't like card slots or anything. I just want a place to slip the book in. So this is something new for me in that I am really going towards having like long-term forever covers, meaning that once these books are filled up for 2019 and I switch over to the 2020 ones that I have, I'm going to take this out, archive it, and then put my 2021 in here and use the same cover, which is like a huge deal for me because I have always, always been one to, once I finish a book up, I switch out everything. I get a new book and I get a brand new cover. And it was a way for me to justify getting a new cover. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Everything I'm saying here is just my opinion and just, you know, the journey that I've been on. And 
it surprised me that I feel so content with these covers and, and a few other ones that I have that I don't feel like looking anymore. And maybe it's just like fatigue of always needing the next thing and looking for new covers can be kind of exhausting as well, trying to navigate all the different websites because every company has a different layout for their website and they call things different different names and label them differently. And um, everybody has different types of leathers, which is a great thing, but it can be really overwhelming. And then some can customize, some can't, some can customize a little and it just, I don't know, it just gets frustrating. And um, where I was in my journey, where I am, is that I just don't want to deal with all of that, all of that anymore. I'm just kind of over it. Uh, maybe I'll come back around. You know, I just need a, a big old break from all of that. But when I received these, I just love them so much. I really do. And then I, I've gotten used to like these in particular representing the particular child that they're for. And um, there's like a comfort in this. So I will just continue to use these maybe forever. I don't know, but I'm just so satisfied. I don't want to look for additional covers uh, for this particular use. So super happy with these. I love them so much. And these are the only two that week's covers that I've, I've had for a long time. And um, I got one more. I've not shown this on my channel yet and I was going to dedicate a whole separate video for this and I will, but I just haven't gotten around to playing with it. So here she is and totally in love with this. This is another Maker South. So Maker South has kind of inserted themselves into being uh, one of my top leather companies that I like to buy from and a lot of it has to do with the types of leather that they offer and also um, how they're able to customize because I've gotten very picky in the design and layouts that I like. And so I've kind of strayed away from companies that have um, designs that can't be altered. So it, it's just a preference kind of thing. So this is a big reason why I've been drawn to Maker South. So there's their little stamp. So this is a horse front, which I have come to super duper love horse fronts. Um, they're really, really thin and so full of character. I've definitely added tons of character to this, <laughs> this one, uh, but I love it. I love it so much. And it already comes like with so much character. Um, so this is a horse front. And it's just been sitting on my shelf waiting to be uh, used for 2020. I got it specially for a, a project for 2020. So you can see all of the beautiful markings on this. I mean, that's relative, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And it's this kind of grayish brown type of color. And let me take my flower out. Uh, I got this one with an elastic closure. Um, these do not have any closures. And I got a raw pocket. Um, it's taller. I like it to be like an inch or so or more above the midline. So this was absolutely perfection. Uh, here is the 2020 weeks that I'm going to be using. So this is going to be hopefully like a photo journal type of of project um i'm gonna link robin at talks from the heart she recently put up a video about how she is doing photo journaling mine is gonna be different than that it's, i don't think it's gonna be a daily thing anyway i'm not gonna get into that because i don't know all the details about what i'm doing here so as you can see this has colonial tan stitching but not on the front because i totally colored it in so um what i tend to do because Companies tend to not have a lot of thread uh, options. So their thread colors, they just don't tend to have a lot to choose from. So what I like to do is I will choose, if I'm not sure something's gonna match very well, I will choose a lighter color. And then sometimes I like it and it's fine. Like with this, this is the same color, the Colonial Tan. 
and I almost thought about coloring this in, but in the end, I really loved it. So for this, um, there was too much of a contrast for me. So then because I choose a lighter color, I always have the option to color it in. And I tend to not like altering notebooks when I get them. And this is part of me being picky these days is that if I'm spending all of this money on a leather cover, it better be to my exact specifications. The only exception I make is the thread color. Uh, I don't know, it's just personal preference. Um, I tend to go lighter if I'm worried about that and then I will color it in. And that's, altering that isn't like a deal breaker for me. So this is my new setup. It's the same with the, the folio pockets on the inside. This one is so holy, like these are actual holes in it and I cannot love it more. Um, so I, I don't know what it is, but, oh, this is where I tested out some, some colors. Cause I just use Crayola super tips. They do fade over time, but I'm, I don't know, like that's totally okay with me. Um, but I've gotten so grungy, uh, with my, with what I like lately in my leather, like this is so grungy looking and I'm just, I live, I live for it. So I found my little flower that I think just goes so pretty with this. Um, so I think that's, that's what I'm going to do. And the reason I got a closure with this is because since this is going to have lots of photos and things in it, hopefully, um, I know it's going to bulk up. So when I have something that I know is going to get super big, I like to have an elastic closure to keep it all together. So that's why I opted for one on this. So these are my three uh, weeks covers and that's it. It's all I need. I don't use weeks for planning. As you can see, I use it for like everything else, uh, but that's all I want. So all of my covers for weeks are actually gonna be in use and probably in use for, for forever. Next up, I've shown this. This is from Apple Pig, and this is the Wallet 3 in the personal size. So this is personal, and I haven't, I've shown this a lot. I'll link the video, of course, but um, I use this as my wallet, and I've got a notebook in here that I use for grocery lists and shopping lists and stuff like that. So I've just got cash and things. I've shown this a lot. This is the Naughty Fox leather, um, and it has the, uh, like zipper pouch here, which I don't really utilize that much. But anyway, this thing has patinaed a lot. I spilled tea on it, so there we go. Some some extra <laughs> extra character there. So it's getting really dark. This is uh, a constant companion of mine. It's always in my purse getting pulled in and out. So it's getting a lot of wear and tear along with um, my standard size Meadowgate leather, which is my planner. These are always, uh, my companions and they get they get a lot of character because they are thrown around and tossed about in my purse quite frequently this is the only personal size i have that's it that's all i want all right next up are my a6 uh covers so this is a hand stitched leather tee it's in the mahogany it's a simple folio as well and uh, this is the only one in this color that I have. Um, I've set this up a couple of times just to, because I have some A6 notebooks that I wanna use as journals. So uh, when that happens and I get around to some of my thicker A6 notebooks, I plan on using this for that. Uh, I just, I really love it. It's just so buttery. These other three um, are all in use. So this one, is from Lacau. It is the chocolate leather with a chocolate front pocket with the most epic pebbling I've ever seen in my life. And uh, this is just housing my uh, five-year Hobonichi. So this is what I use for gratitude. I literally on the left side just write a highlight of the day. So just whatever was the best thing that happened that day or that made me the happiest or whatever, I will write that. And then on the right side, I write uh, something that I'm grateful for. And I've kept up with it since the beginning of this year. It is like all full. And uh, I am going to be keeping this in this cover for all five years. Um, that is my plan. I have absolutely no intention of 
getting a new cover for this or switching out or anything. Once I put it in here, it just felt so right. And everything about this cover just really struck all the right places for me. So um, I plan on having this be a long-term, long-haul type of cover. And I, I just could not love it more. Um, this is this sticker is from Art Journal Girl. And I just love the, the brownness of this. And uh, I think it just represents, you know, this brown cover so well. And these palms were made by Robin at Talks from the Heart, and she just gifted them to me. Um, and I just, I just love, I love everything about this. It feels so good and so complete to me. And fun fact, I know a lot of people were harping on getting this starting in 2019 um, because they wanted it to be like nice and round and start at 2020. Um, but when I journal in this for 2023, I will be 40. I didn't, I didn't realize that when I bought it, but the last year that I will be writing in this will be my 40th year. And, um, I thought that was super cool and it was a total accident, but, um, you could probably tell, I just really love this whole setup and, you know, this is definitely going to be a long-term thing for me. And then, uh, this is also a lacau. Um, this is in the nude leather and this is a glossy nude front pocket, which has patinaed, uh, quite a bit actually. Um, I am not going to be using this for 2020. So I use this for, for 2019 and this is my Midori MD one day, one page. And this is what I was kind of using for self-care. So it, it really ended up just being lettering practice basically. Uh, I just write in this every day and I just kind of hand letter something that uh, like I kind of did for myself or something that made me happy or what have you like um, it's just I don't know I, I had fun doing this and I'm gonna complete it and it'll be a fun thing to archive and maybe look through uh, but it's not something I'm gonna continue on for for 2020 so this was like my fun project for the year and I'm kind of switching over to my like photo journaling project in the weeks for 2020 uh, because I just think that will be something that uh, like other people can enjoy. Um, you know, I can have friends and family look through that and it's basically like a photo album. And with this, uh, you know, it's just something I'm going to file away and maybe flip through every now and then. But once I retire uh, this notebook and archive it, I'm going to retire this cover. Uh, I'm going to keep it though, just in case I might need it for something else, but I'm just not in love with, with this particular cover. I got both of these at the same time and this just does not compare to how I feel about this one. So I'll be glad to retire this at the end of the year. And you know, we had a good go there. And then the last A6, which is also in use is from Maker South and it is the Sunset Oil Tan Leather, which is actually the same as this. I got both of these together. Um, I have a video reviewing these. These are the first Maker South I ever got. And um, th this is the one that I'm using as just like a burn, burn journal. Uh, but this is housing the um, an A6 weekly supplement and this A6 Stalogy. Uh, I I take care of someone in my family, like medical care. They um they have a lot of things, so I I basically take care of that. And so I write notes in here and I track medications and dosages and things in this. So I just got another one of these for 2020, and. This is nowhere near being done and I'm just going to keep trucking along with this. I like to have everything kind of in one place for reference. Uh, when the new year rolls around, I'm just going to take this out and put the new one in and continue on in this cover because I feel so incredibly content with this. Um, it's, ex it's exactly what I want, exactly what I need. It's super compact and it fits these two things which are the only things I need and it fits them like a glove. And I just love the way this ended up turning out. I love the green and the black. And then I got the palms from Robin again. And I'm just really, really, really content with this. And that is it for the A6s. That's all I have. And most of them are in use. So the next little bit, um, this is the only pocket plus that I have. So 
I, um, this is from the leather quill shop. It is the, uh, what is it? The Patriot leather. Um, I got this because it had some killer branding on it. I super duper love this. And I like Pocket Plus when it's, uh, when I put A6 notebooks in here. So I only have this one um, because it was my favorite out of everything that I had and I got rid of the rest. And I'm keeping this around in case I want to use the day-free A6 Hobonichi in here. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I only have the one and I, I super love this, so I'm just gonna keep this around and I'm, I'm not really gonna add any more uh, Pocket Plus. So that's the only Pocket Plus that I have. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, I totally forgot about this. This is a, a standard size. I forgot to add it when I was doing my standards, but uh, this is the exact same leather. It's from the Leather Quill Shop. It's the Patriot Leather. Um, and it's a trifold. So I actually ended up slicing this off. It was really wide. I think it was made also for like moleskin wide size, um, the books that are five inches across. And it was like curving down and it wasn't closing very well. So I ended up slicing like an inch off of this um, just to make it close uh, better to my liking. And it, it definitely does. I love it so much. So this is what I use for homeschool. So I've got a Keely Reichman pouch in here and then my Traveler's Company uh, a weekly, uh, it's the, what is it, vertical? Like this uh, planner. And this is what I use to track stuff for homeschooling. And then I have a blank notebook for notes. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the same leather and uh, everything that I have from the leather quill shop is from the ready to ship section. Um, so I have this also leather quill. Uh, this is leather quill. This is leather quill. And that's all I have from them. So these are all pocket size. So the rest of these are pocket. So I'll put my pocket plus away. Okay. So these are from the leather quills ready to ship section. So this is the bison leather, which is so gorgeous. I think this is the first one I ever got. And I just, I have not been able to get rid of this. It's just one of my favorites. So it's super shiny. And then this is their, I think, Adventure series. Um, it's, it's so thick and it smells like cookies. And <laughs> it has the most gorgeous uh, texture on it. So the thing is, this brings me into another thing. This video is like three hours long. So I am getting really um, like annoyed. Annoyed is too strong of a word, but I'm kind of just getting um, irritated. <laughs> There's another strong word. By buying such expensive things sight unseen. So I have become a really big fan of ready to ship sections and shops that are just ready to ship shops where they have the actual photo of the item and you can see exactly what you're getting. Uh, so you can see the texture. And the reason I bought these is because I saw the pictures of these exact things and I knew that that was the exact texture that I was looking for. So, um, so I've gotten to the point where I appreciate ready to ship way more and I gravitate towards that. Or if I'm buying something sight unseen, this is why I like a maker like Maker South because the communication is so detailed between um, the customer and and the maker. And I can be so specific and not feel like I'm, they don't make me feel like I'm being super nitpicky. And the communication is just so clear. Um, so in that case, if I'm buying a custom thing that's sight unseen, um, I like working with somebody like Maker South. And I also would love if, and this is extra work, but I'm just kind of talking just to talk, but um, it would be really awesome if makers, if they do make something custom, if they send the photo of what their, of what the end thing is so that you can okay it, um, which sounds like a ton of extra work, but I know that um, LaCow 
actually sent me a photo of this before before he sent it to me and I thought that was so awesome I wasn't expecting that I don't think he does that every time um but it just got me thinking that you know I'm waiting a long time for these I'm spending a lot of money on these and I'm just crossing my fingers hoping that it's something that I love and because I'm not gonna be you know selling things it's almost like gotten even more important to me that I see the product before I buy it. So just, you know, random thoughts about that kind of thing. So all of these are just plain inside. There's no pockets or anything. Um, I do believe Leather Quill is uh, switching over to be a ready to ship shop. And I'm really, really happy to hear that. Um, I actually have two outstanding orders from them that are going on four months old and I can't get a uh an update on the you know the remaining turnaround time for those so um I know there's some like issues with that with their shop and I'm glad to see that they're responding to that by uh switching over to like 24 to 48 hours and the ready to ship stuff will be shipped out so so good on them for that um I do love these covers that I received uh so I'm not buying any more pockets. I rarely journal in pockets, but these are so gorgeous and so dynamic. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just a great appreciator of textures and, um, beautiful markings, things that look really unique. And I have a ton of pocket notebooks that I need to use up. So, uh, these are ready and waiting for me to use them up, uh, so I can get through a lot of the pocket notebooks that I have. This one has obviously been set up. I've been playing with it. You know, I've got a Keeley pouch and a Dapper Notes uh, thing in here because even though, uh, you know, a lot of these things aren't in active use, I do pull them out and play with them and fill them up with stuff. So there's that. Okay, moving on. Um, I have a, uh, this is a speckled fawns. It's an ugly, an ugly journal from their ugly journal section. And this is totally a, uh, a slice in the pocket there, which I love. Uh, this is a traveler's notebook. And I actually think I'm going to be using this when I get my a6 Day Free Hobonichi, which I will be using as a planner for 2020. It fits in here like a glove. So like I said, this is a pocket size. It's not a pocket plus. So Speckled Fawns, like I said, is one of those companies that cuts a super roomy notebook or leather cover. And uh, so when I tried like my, uh, the Hobonichi Plain Journal in here, it fit like perfect and I believe the day free is the exact same size as that so I'm reserving this because I think this is what I'm going to be using for 2020 uh and then I have this it's a folio it's a Starbucks reserve um when my brother lived in Washington State he went to the um you know like the roastery there and they had these so he picked it up for me and it's some crazy oil tanned leather with a pocket here so you know this is a really sweet sentimental thing and uh, so I always, I'm always going to have this. It's very special to me. And then I have my mitzvah uh, from Sojourner. And this, I have an MD notebook that I had, I did it myself. I cut it down to pocket and put it in here. And this is actually my address book. So I just always have this available. And, um, you know, it's so, so pretty. I, I love it. And then this is, this is rings. <laughs> What is this from? Oh, it's an Asian vintage uh, pocket rings. Um, this is from Robin at Talks From The Heart. She set this up for me. It has this like sticker paper on it. So I can use this to transfer all my stickers and have them all in one spot. And so, so generous of her to do. Um, so I still have to set aside time to play around with this and have this to contain all of my stickers because I'm kind of like obsessed with having all of my things in one place. Uh, but yeah, so these are, these are all of the pockets that I have and they kind of satisfy all of my needs. So I'm happy to have all of these. And last 
Last couple of things. Um, this is just, this is a passport, but it's just one of those like from September leather on, on Amazon. Um, it's actually the same as this, like Frank. Um, it's, it's the same from September leather or whatever. So it, it's really, really inexpensive. And I was trying this out. Um, and also for my husband as a wallet, it didn't work out for either of us, but I still have this on hand. Um, it's so cheap and inexpensive, but I was thinking I could maybe, um, like play around with this, maybe, uh, cut it up or, or something. I don't know. I have it. So, um, I just kind of added it in and then I have this speckled fawns micro. So this is in the Dublin cognac. Is that what they call it? Um, but it's got the four strings and some pockets. And I used this as a wallet for a really long time. I really uh, enjoyed having a smaller traveler's notebook. Um, wow, look at that. Oh, I just love it so much. Um, this is so cute. This is the only small notebook or leather cover that I have. So this is micro size. That's it. If I ever want to go back down to this size. Um, I'm just going to keep this around as an option. I'm not going to add any more to this. I love the way I've broken this particular one in and I love the way it looks. I love the pocket on it. Uh, so I'm happy right now in my personal sized um, Apple Pig. So uh, I think that's going to be it for me for the long haul. So this is the only small thing I need in my collection. So now that I've talked for like eight hours, uh, this, this is everything. So this is my whole, oh wait, no. Okay, so I do have this Milu bag. When Robin visited me, you know, Robin, 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 uh, she had this and she didn't want it. So she so kindly gave it to me so that it could have a loving home. I'm just, I live for the inside and the florals because, oh man, I'm just a, a floral obsessed kind of person. So. She bought this and she didn't like it because it, it's stiffer than the colored ones that she has. She has like a, a burgundy one and a, and a blue one. And for real, they feel like pudding, like pudding in the hands. It's insane how different they feel from this. But I don't do colors like I do browns. And regardless of, you know, the fact that hers feel like pudding, I, I knew that I would still get this one. So I'm really happy to have this. I... I fill this with my washi cards and my fountain pens and I throw it in my bag along with my current journal. And I take, I kind of take that on the go with me like as a, as a daily thing, kind of, I don't know. Anyway, so I really love having this and it's super, super gorgeous. Okay, so that truly is all of my, I'm not gonna pull them all in here because I can't, but this is everything that I have in my leather collection. I'm, I'm still kind of refining everything um but i've really done a massive overhaul with with everything that i've i've owned and i've really reflected a lot on the things that i'm looking for and you know i have a completely different set of rules for myself when it comes to purchasing leather products and i've really really toned down a lot and i think it's just really common when you first get into leather leather covers like this that you're really excited. Okay, I'm just going to talk for myself. I was so excited and and so I bought tons of stuff and I have no shame about that. I was just really enjoying diving into everything. And just over time, I've just really been able to experience a lot and I've been able to really hone in uh the qualities that actually mean a lot to me and and so I just reacted accordingly. And I'm super, super happy with the way my collection is now. And because I have a lot of like long-term covers that I'll be using, I'm really not going to be purchasing very much. And the only things that I constantly switch out covers with are my journal, are my journals. So, um, you know, once I finish this, uh, my Nanami, and I will switch to a different size, to a different co cover. Um, and, and that, that's where I switch things up. That's where um, I have fun with playing around with different journals and uh, different sizes and different leathers and different companies. So 
Um, that's where I kind of get my leather playtime in. And I found that after all this time, that is, that is so, that's enough for me. That, that's really all I need. And I don't feel overwhelmed, but I still get all of that, you know, fun leather playtime in. So anyway, um, I really need to wrap this up. This is like the longest video ever. So anyway, that is my current leather collection for everybody that was like wondering <laughs> what I have. Um, so that that's everything. I will link videos uh, if you want more detail about any of any of these. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.